chalazion the meibomian gland cyst so what is a meibomian gland it is nothing but a sebaceous gland largest sebaceous gland present in the eyelid there are another there is another sebaceous gland is also present that is called as zeis gland so what is chalazion chalazion is chronic non superative granulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland that is the largest the sebaceous gland of the eyelid it occurs in multiple occurs in crops and adults are more prone than children sebaceous glandular tissue is replaced by granulation tissue containing giant cells plasma cells histocytes and polymorpho nuclear cells this is the clinical presentation of the chalazion it can be differentiated from hardiolum internum and externum by the cyst or uh, will be present some millimeter away from the eyelid margin if the cyst is present directly in the lid margin then it is hardiolum internum or externum but it is present some 1 or 2 millimeter away from the eyelid margin so it is the chalazion of the a chalazion of the eyelid so it is hard painless swelling in either lid gradually increase gradual increase in size without inflammatory symptoms like pain swelling warmth and redness if lid is everted the conjunctiva will be red or purple over the nodule the treatment include one of the there are there will be two treatments one is intralesional injection intralesional injection of steroids like triamycinolone acetonide helps in the resolution of the small chalazion if not resolved it should be incised and curated so coming to the surgical treatment the surgical treatment will be conjunctival sac or lid are anesthetized and submuscular injection of 2 percentage lignocaine locally deep to orbicularis muscle and a topical anesthetic is applied and the chalazion clamp that is specially provided for chalazion that should be applied around the nodule to keep the lid averted and that will also provide a bloodless feel for the surgery at the point of greatest discolor a vertical incision should be made but particularly it should be made in palpebral conjunctiva any semi fluid contents which may be present will escape and walls of cavity are thoroughly scraped with a curity in long standing chalazion pseudo capsule formation will be there and that is also should be curated the clamp is after the surgery clamp is released and pressure is applied for a few minutes so that uh, there will be uh, clot formation sometimes the swelling will remain because the cavity will be filled with blood if the curettage has not been sufficient granulation tissue may sprout out and that should be sniped with scissors and the cavity is again strapped out and in case of recurrence or elderly individuals the lesion should be biopsied to rule out meibomian cell carcinoma and all these things should be should be priorly informed to the patient coming to the case presentation <coughs> it is a case it is a case of a 19 year old female uh, student by occupation residing in mailapur came to the opd with chief complaints of swelling in lower lid do- lower lid of the left eye for past one month history of presenting illness the patient was apparently normal one month before and developed a small non tender swelling over the lower eyelid of left eye on coming to the presenting illness no history of defective or blurring vision no history of colored halos no history of glare no history of double vision or multiple image no history of watering or discharge from eye no history of redness no history of pain that is eye ache or headache no history of blurring burning itching foreign body sensation no history of photophobia no history of trauma no history of chronic drug usage no history of toxic substance exposure no history of chronic immunodeficiency and no history of chronic skin disease past history no history of similar episodes in past no history of similar complaints of other eye no history of previous loss of visual acuity and surgical history no history of past surgeries and no history of past ocular surgeries medical history she is not a known case of diabetes mellitus hypertension ischemic heart disease bronchial asthma tuberculosis epilepsy or cerebrovascular accident 
ट्रीटमेंट हिस्ट्री नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ पास्ट आकुलर सिस्टमिक एडिकेशन एंड नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ ड्रग एलर्जीज पर्सनल हिस्ट्री नॉट ए क्रॉनिक स्मोकर नॉट ए नॉट ए नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्रॉनिक अल्कोहलिक यूसेज स्लीप पैटर्न नॉर्मल नॉर्मल ब्लैडर एंड बबल हैबिट्स फैमिली हिस्ट्री नो सिमिलर एपिसोड्स इन फैमिली जनरल एग्जामिनेशन नॉर्मल सिस्टमिक एग्जामिनेशन नॉर्मल हेड पोस्चर नॉर्मल फेशियल सिमेट्री सिमेट्रिकल ऑन both the sides coming to the examination of the eye lacrimal region is normal and no swelling is seen on both the eyes eyebrows are also normal on both the eyes eyelids right eye eyelids are normal left eye small particularly non tender swelling on lower eyelid 2 mm away from the lid margin and the swelling is firm and tens eyelashes are normal on both the eyes visual acuity is normal that is 6 by 6 on both the eyes conjunctiva right eye is normal left eye on exertion the lower lid corresponding circular area at palpebral conjunctiva is red cornea is normal on both the eyes corneal reflex are also normal corneal opacity is not required here anterior chamber is normal in depth and iris shows normal in color and pattern on both the eyes extraocular muscles fully ranged on both the eyes digital tonometry normal on both the eyes roplas normal on both the eyes intraocular pressure normal on both the I different the diagnosis is chalazion of lower eyelid of left eye treatment is there are two treatments intralesional injection of steroids like triamycinolone acetonide 4 mg or another treatment is surgical that is incision and curettage differential diagnosis is external hardiolum internal hardiolum or tumors of eyelid if recurrence occurs the, the differential diagnosis could be uncorrected refractive errors diabetes and malignancies can occur thank you